Welcome back to my channel. For today, I have this look here, a super simple look, um, but, but with using the color peach, which is one of my favorite colors for makeup, and just in general, one of my favorite colors. And yeah, what can I say more? Oh, it's a one brand tutorial by Anastasia, uh, or using only Anastasia. I think you guys already think now, like she needs to breathe be between what she's uh, saying. So sorry. <laughs> but if you guys want to know how I created this look, then keep on watching. So I'm starting off with the brow wiz in the color medium brown. I use this every time when I do my makeup. This is the only thing that I use for my brows. And also a brow gel, but for the color, I use this every day. You know when you pin this, your hijab way too tight, that you can not really talk normal? <laughs> I did it right now, because this one tends to go like in, a, in, this, in this figure. So starting my video really great off, but um, yeah. So now I have it really tight. But it's annoying with talking. I can give you guys a really good selfie tip. I just posted a, feed, a picture on my Instagram uh, where I'm standing outside. I took the picture with my phone and it's even more beautiful quality as that I do here inside with my, my camera. That's because the sun was shining. Even if my makeup looks uh, ugly, if I go outside and there is sun, my makeup looks so bomb. So, for that picture, I only did that. I was standing right in the sun, and oh my god, how your highlight is looking then. Oh, it's so beautiful. So, just a little thing, if you didn't know this. Now I'm going to cheat a little. I'm going to cheat three times with products that I don't own and that I think also Anastasia doesn't have. They do have, like, foundation sticks and all of that, but... Uh, so, but for this, for my eyeshadow base, I prefer to use the Tarte Shape Tape and also to set my face. I don't think they have a translucent powder. But now I'm going to use the Subculture Palette. Ha haven't used this palette in a while. I think I only used it for the Tree Looks One Palette video. So I need to use this more. I'm going to use the peach color. The name is Roxy. And I'm just going to re be pressing this peach color onto my eyelid. Look how freaking, freaking pigmented, pigmented <laughs> this eyeshadow is, wow. And then just leave it like this. <laughs> so funny. I feel like I scare you, you guys sometimes with how, yeah, with who I am. And then with a clean blending brush, I'm going to blend out the edges. Why does this always happen? I don't understand. Now I picked up a little bit of the peach color onto this brush. I'm going to blend that in my crease. And then I'm going back in with that peach color and I'm going to press it on. So I think it has to do with the subculture palette that this in my crease gets darker every time because now I redid it and it's again in my crease darker but it doesn't matter because I still like it and it's just not really the thing where I was going for but so now I'm going to apply these lashes because I don't have Anastasia lashes I also think she has no lashes right so these your lashes in the style Sadira, 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 Sadira is in a really Dutch way. I don't know how to say it in an English way. Cetera. That's something else. Now I'm going to apply this hydrating oil from Anastasia. Duh. Oh, oh, I really like to use an oil with the Anastasia contour sticks and foundation sticks. People really hate them. They are even a lot, uh, many times in uh, videos with products that I hate. Whenever I wear this foundation, I always get questions like, whoa, what are you wearing? But you just have to use it this way. So you use it with an oil underneath it and you will have to blend it out with a beauty blender and then it's gorgeous. So nice, I don't have to color match anymore. Just 
a blessing. <laughs> uh, but I do know that this is a color that I used to wear. But now that I haven't had sun, because I'm uh, lasering, I'm getting really pale. Normally when I would get this pill, I would go to the sun sunbathing, no those machines <laughs> that oh so awkward. Um, let me go to Google Translate again. Tanning bed. Tanning bed. I would go to the tanning bed. Yeah. Using the Sigma Beauty Blender to blend this in. And now you're going to see how beautiful this finish is. feel like I could use another layer of this, but also with some concealer, um, I think it will also look good. Normally I would apply one more layer, but I don't want to have so many layers on my face right now. I'm not feeling like that today. I don't get how people can say that they don't like this foundation. It is actually really good. Good. I think I'm saying that wrong all the time. And then I'm going to use the banana color to conceal and I'm not going to use too much since it's for me really yellow Could you live without a beauty blender? I think I would stop using makeup. Beauty Blender makes it all so easy and so diffused or smooth and just blend it so well and it takes off the excess like I cannot live without this. I'm just going to set my face with the Becca uh, setting powder. I'm just going to do that right now since it's a one brand makeup tutorial. Then I'm going to use the contour palette from light to medium. And then I'm going in with the middle color, just going to contour a little or just give it some color. It, I'm, with it, I mean my face. It's funny, when I'm doing my makeup with the hijab and I take it off, I have this whole round around my face without any makeup. And then I'm also going to use this peach blush from Anastasia, the, uh, the Radiant Blush Kit. And it's called, this color is called Coastline. Then I'm going to use the Ambreezy Highlighter, which is my favorite. It is so good. Just see for yourself. Do you see that? <laughs> oh. I totally forgot that I also want to highlight my inner corners and my brow bone with this beautiful highlighter. And then I'm going to use the clear brow gel. Just brushing my brows up. My brows. Yeah, yeah, my brows. Or my brow hairs. Mm. Just brushing my brow hairs up. I think that gives a, a more natural look. Like they are a little frizzy or I don't know, actually. But I just really love it then i'm blending a little bit of that peach eyeshadow also underneath my eyes and then i'm going to apply this peachy lip uh matte lipstick oh this is so beautiful this color okay i applied my lipstick like a child from two years old um that's well, it's always happening to me when I just apply it with the lipstick itself. I don't know why. Then I see those Instagrammers filming those lip tutorials. Really easy. I don't know how to do that. 
but they just apply it perfect with the lipstick. And that's it for this peachy look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. I really think that these two colors together with the green, the cakey or khaki color and with this peachy uh, makeup is looking really good together. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you want to see next. What kind of makeup tutorial or look you want to see next. And then I will film that for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Second time again. Have a wonderful day. Bye!